Good morning everyone and welcome to another Morning Coffee with Mark Haida. And today's thought for the day is based upon making hard decisions. And everything we do is about choices in life and living with those choices. So one of the things that helps me get through my or, or deciding factor of how do I make my choices is uh, what I call the inside and outside noise. And uh, these are usually things that I do when I'm having difficulty trying to figure out what is the right choice to make. Let's start off with inside noise. Inside noise is your gut feeling. It's usually predicated or, or, or influenced by my conscience. The inside noise is influenced by my belief systems, what I believe is right and what I believe is wrong, and also uh, my spiritual guidance that I go by and listen to and believe in. That's the inside noise. The outside noise is what I feel, usually uh, influenced by emotions. What do other people think? What will they think? Or oh, I don't want to hurt other people's feelings. So sometimes these two things are always going to be in conflict. So how do I go by uh, listening to the inside noise, could be my conscience or my belief systems, versus the outside noise? Well, the inside noise is usually what I try to say that is when I have that initial decision, say, okay, I'm going to go with this, what does it feel like? Do I have that gut feeling like a rocks in my stomach if I went with this choice? And the other way to also do that, and I usually have this internal monologue, is if I died to this very second, the choice I make, would I be able to face my maker and live with it? Could I say, okay, you chose this, boom, I died right now, boom, nothing else. How about that choice? How do you feel about that? Because that takes away all the outside noise because nothing else matters. It doesn't matter what other people think, it doesn't matter how they feel and everything else. It's about me and my own personal soul or my own personal belief systems that I left. And this is the choice I make because for me, deep down inside, it was the right choice. So you can think of it, at least that's the way I think of it. Now, how do I reconcile the outside noise? How are other people going to feel or I'm going to feel bad for them? The emotions. I find somebody that I trust that's impartial. Impartial to the decision. Somebody can step away and don't, that doesn't have any emotions for that. And usually that's my wife <laughs> because she cares about me. She stands and she's clear-headed. There's no emotions involved in this particular decision. That's how I reconcile with this. Uh, an example of that. Earlier this year, um, I was part of a team where it was very hard for me to leave, but I no longer believed in, in what they were doing. The integrity inside of what I was watching was against what I believed in. I didn't like what I was seeing, if the circus or whatever, whatever it was, doesn't matter. It was a personal thing for me. I wasn't happy. And I knew that I was with them for a while because I was thinking, well, I don't want to hurt feelings. I started with this team. I don't want other, what about everybody else? It was all about that. So I met with, for the inside thing, I go, stop. If I were to drop today, do I continue with that? How would that make my integrity? How would that affect my honor or, or feelings about inside monologue, right? Do I really feel good about this? No, if I cut it down, boom, and I, I want to stop this. Rock fell out. I don't feel that in the pit of my stomach. That's one answer. Second answer, impartial. I got people outside. Of course, I asked two of my other teammates. They felt exactly the same thing. We left. So that made it easier because we agreed upon it. So asking people you trusted who are just as important with their decisions helped me make the outside noise easier. Then I found somebody who's impartial, who comes in and watches everything because they're not part of the whole thing and say, this is what I see and this is what you need to do. So they both matched and I made that answer. Now the question is, what if they both clash? I'd usually go with what's in here. What does your conscience tell you? Because usually your conscience is you being honest with yourself. So that's part of the decision making I do when it comes to different uh, decisions or difficult decisions I have to make done. And I hope that you enjoyed last night's heads up episode. It was a lot of fun. Anyways, that's my thoughts for today. Here's my morning cup of joe. Mmm. Always so good. Enjoy your day, guys. Talk to you soon.